you know, of course, when you get imagining when you get cancer, your fucking life is practically over, whether you know even what kind of cancer it is or not. Because I thought the movie did a great fucking job of him sitting in. There's a scene where Joseph Gordon Levitt is sitting in his doctor's office and you hear the doctor go, cancer. The movie does this cool thing where it's like you, the sound effects, like everything starts to echo and the camera focuses in on his face. And it's like all of a sudden he's gone deaf. And the only thing he's heard is cancer. And I was like, wow, I imagine that's exactly what anyone would feel like if somebody told you you have cancer. I'm with you, co-host. Y'all are some hard motherfuckers. That yeah. in, the, in the poor little guy's face like, oh, you got cancer. <laughs> Get out of here. It wasn't that they, you know, you said, oh, he's going to die. He might as well give up. Of course, he's going to change his whole, whole life. The mo- title of this movie is 50-50, which relates Did to I say that? he has a 50% chance of living. Yes. And he just, uh, it felt to me like almost right off the bat, he had pretty much just given up. Oh, by the way, he, he, you were co-host? And when did you see this movie? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say what he. You can still, yeah, yeah. You, you can still be with me, I, I, all right? Man, yeah, I, don't I love worry. this movie. Hang out, host. Hang out. Hey, don't hey. listen to these fools. <laughs> doctor, doctor told me I had cancer. I'm gonna go out and put on some black lipstick that day. No I, shit. I'm going, I'm going straight <laughs> yeah. Lipstick. I will fucking throw on a black cape and now, yeah. I want everyone to know. Ask me. Come up. And go, Why do you have that black? Cape? Because I have cancer, asshole. All right. <laughs> I, I can do pretty much whatever I want at this point because I ain't gonna be around tomorrow. So you can criticize me when I'm fucking in my grave. All right. I like this. He's already talking about, like, man, the movie's about cancer, y'all. Yeah, what, assholes. What, 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 how dare you even say one bad word about this film? <laughs> hey, y'all are talking about the, about the man who has cancer, yeah? Yeah, he's kind of a pussy, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know. What, what do you guys want him to do? Fucking put on a red bandana well, you know, and fucking if, take off his shirt? If Hitler had cancer, would we just be like, oh, man, don't be too, come on. I know. You guys got cancer. I pray to God, Leon, Leon I, I pray to God that you never get cancer, Leon, all right? Because yeah, they ain't going to be around for you. I'll be around oh, laughing. If, if you get ass cancer, I'm sorry, but I'm going to laugh. I don't know, but, you because know. you still have to judge the man separate from anything else like I that. Like There's some the- random shit he got. Yeah, it's a shame when anybody gets cancer, but if you're still a dick before that, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go, oh, I totally love you now. But, but, but the thing but is, though- I would be that guy where you'd be like, man, that guy, he's a monster. He killed six million Jews. Come on. He- He's got cancer, man. Come yeah. on. But the what thing is, about? though, the thing is, though, which I'm, I'm even more surprised is the fact that you guys are criticizing this dude. You know, there's, there's that storyline. I hope you didn't forget about his girlfriend. Well, wait a minute. Let me stop you, know? you right here and just say, look. I'm not criticizing his character saying he deserved cancer. No. I'm not I'm not saying that he's a ba- I'm not saying he's a bad <laughs> character at all. I'm just saying that, you know, he was kind of a wimpy guy beforehand and some of the things that were set in motion in his life be- before he got the cancer were probably going to happen. You know, mm. he, he, he can't stand up to his boss. He was probably going to lose his job. You know, his relationship might have been good, might have not been. We don't know. And then things start to fall apart in his life as they go along. That's not my problem. But I'm not criticizing him for that at all. I like all the characters in this movie, including him. Uh, Seth Rogen, no criticism. I think he's very neat in this movie. He's the, he is the, I mean, you, he's kind of the heart of the film. I mean, he would, he's the kind of friend that we would like to be. You know, we don't want to be serious. We don't want to be awkward. We want to joke around, but we want to have the liberty to joke around because we're known as that guy. Yeah. Well, we I thought I thought that. the movie had an arc as far as why he was acting that way that I thought they did a good job of no, explaining. No, I did. It. There's other people here, Angelica Houston we talked about, who I think is, you know, I, every time she's in a movie, I think she's great. But again, this is one of those films where she hardly had any time in the movie. But when she was on, I thought she was great as just his hard-ass mother. And Bryce Dallas Howard, even being like a stereotypical bitch in this movie, I still think she's great. And that's probably where my criticism of the movie comes in, because some of these characters, they're such types that you can kind of predict where the movie's going right from the very beginning. I wish that with what they had here, and especially with the comedy angle that they have, that the movie had just done something a little bit different with the story. That's all. Okay. Well, I mean, before I was interrupted, I'm trying, I was trying to say, you brought the fact that Bryce Dallas Powers character is a bitch. I'm like, yeah, cause that is a part of the story. And when you understand that part of the story, it's like, wow, his reactions to dealing with his girlfriend. I mean, how can you not really like go, how would I fucking deal with that? Like, Jesus, not only do I have cancer, but now I have to deal with this other mess. And I thought the movie did a fantastic job of really like portraying a realistic point as far as how a guy would probably handle it. And, my, and, my problem and, was less how he handled it per se and more that w- w- I'm not enjoying watching this happen. I'm like, hey, come on, man. This is just so fucking dark. And the only point of light is Seth Rogen, who didn't feel to me like he was a real person. He felt like he was playing Seth Rogen TM. 
you know, wow, like, you know yeah. copyrighted Seth Rogen. I think he was funny. He was funny to watch, but he just, I was like, who are you? And it wasn't till, as I agree with you, when they bring it back around a little bit later and you start to understand why he's so obnoxious, which a lot, a lesser movie might not have even bothered doing, mm-hmm. you know, that's a very interesting point. It's really not till the last third of this film that it started coming together for me at all. When they did things like that, they start addressing the fact that like, look, like having cancer it feels like the end of the world to you, but you cannot forget that there's a lot of people who will love you, who love you, who are suffering really badly as well, and you can't just go treating them all like shit, you know. And that's kind of why the Angelica Houston character is in this movie is to be sort of like a a turning point for the main character to to come to that realization. Oh, dang! Because I figured if I got cancer. I'm just going to treat everybody like shit. <laughs> I, I, like you know, those people who get cancer, they have those, they, they're inspirational. Then they're going to be me. I'm going to be a miserable son of a bitch. And I'm just letting y'all know that right and now. You're going to be a super villain? Uh, yeah, yeah, I might even <laughs> turn the jigsaw. And we're all, all going to be yeah. like, wow, did you know he had cancer? No, he yeah. acted the same as he always did. Yeah. I had no idea. He so when you, it really it's your well. one chance. Yeah. <laughs> so when you lock us in a room and you come out a little trusty, go talking about want to play a game, then we, <laughs> then we know you got cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know it's all on. Even oh, though he right, did man. that on an episode of Lee Yog already. Uh, I don't you know, know if you right. saw You know, man, I see what you're saying, but I don't see how the movie was as dark as as what the way you're saying it. Like, Because Seth Rogen isn't in every scene. I don't think the movie was was all that dark. I mean, like everybody in this movie has some level of entertainment to where they lighten the tone of this film. And like I said, that works for the movie. To me, it works against the movie. The characters themselves and their personalities enjoy it. It's their arcs that they take, relationships, all that kind of stuff. From the very beginning, knew that was going to go. Something like Anna Kendrick, who plays his therapist in the movie. Like her character a lot. I think she's a wonderful actress too. From the very beginning, though, Knew where that relationship was going yeah, to go. Yeah, even though that, uh, in strictly legal terms, yeah, it's bullshit. Have happened. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, I, I mean, how's she gonna be a therapist? Isn't she, isn't she like twenty? They explain that. Yeah, yeah, yeah they okay. do. I mean, yeah. it's very funny the way they explain it. Again, just wish it could have done more here. But I, nothing against the movie really at all. It's just something where what I thought could have been great just ended up being very good, and I'm gonna give it a high matinee for that. But, uh, you know, I feel like I could say the same thing you, except I'd say just good, you know, because I think it was good. It just wasn't, it wasn't very good and it wasn't great. There was a lot of issues I had along the way, but there were little things that charmed me as well. Um, as obviously the performances were all good because this is a really super talented group of people working together here. And I, you know, on the whole, I liked the arcs. I didn't know where they all, all going. I, I thought, especially the Seth Rogen thing. Well, like I said, I thought he was playing a bit of a cartoon character when they finally made him human towards the end. I thought that was a really surprising thing for the film to do the way that it did it. Um, I just, I think on the whole, I was just disappointed with uh, a lot of the dialogue and the way the script played out. And it's just, you know, obviously it's melancholy. It's a story about cancer. My problem is a personal one. I just didn't really enjoy watching it. It's like, okay, well, I want to go to the movies to be entertained to a certain extent, and this is really having the opposite effect. <laughs> I'm sure you but don't go to a movie about cancer to be entertained, but you know, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> last time I checked. But, I probably no. wouldn't have gone to a movie about cancer on my own accord. <laughs> okay. there. But they're not really selling it that way yeah. either. The cancer movie! <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> big lights. Yeah. The answer's like, thank you, thank you. I've I mean, always wanted it, to be a big yeah. star. Yeah. I mean, if it grew, look, yeah. look at the poster. It just looks like, hey, it's a 40-year-old virgin, except 50-50. A guy is half shaving his head. He can't figure out which side to shave or not. <laughs> yeah. It's wacky. I thought it yeah. was a movie about him going to the army. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, it's hard to, it's I actually really did at one point. <laughs> Could have been a mohawk he was putting yeah. on there. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's a punk rock story. I always thought but, he was like, I was like, oh, is this a revenge movie or something? Because I, I, whenever I see somebody shave their head, I can't get the image of Travis Bickle out of my head for some reason. He's going to give me, himself a mohawk and go on. T- to me, I, just, I give it a spirit. low matinee. I mean, like I said, I think a lot of people obviously like it a lot more than I did. But for, for personal reasons, I just didn't enjoy it that much it's not that it's a terribly made movie or anything it's just not really my cup of tea yeah as much as i'm raving about at least trying to disprove what you guys are thinking about it it is it is a tower defense game it, it, I, I mean i, I love uh, i mean I, the arcs worked and uh, and you know what the thing is this movie had me laughing throughout throughout the whole thing there was never a point where i'm like okay these jokes are failing uh just stale i thought they were pretty witty um and just the character interactions, like anyone Joseph Gordon Levin is interacting with, I thoroughly enjoyed. I mean, it, it seemed kind of honest to me. It didn't really seem like they were, you know, playing it up for laughs or if they were trying to beat you over the head about how much cancer sucks. It just seemed like a very realistic 
point of view of what it could be like with cancer and how people treat you end up treating you when when you have it and, and how you end up treating other people when you just kind of don't want to face the fact that there's a good chance you're going to you're going to be dead tomorrow um but you know for what it is i mean there were you know yeah you you can kind of see where some of the obvious subplots are going um i think that's why i want to give it a, a matinee uh, because yeah, I mean, if, 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 if the cancer fucking grew arms and legs and came out with a fucking machete, then maybe I'd give it a full price because yeah, that's something I've never really seen you before. So weird, but, I know. but the thing is, <laughs> like, the but, but the thing is, is that it was a fantastic. Best I, yeah. And that's, break. that's, that's what happens got, to got you. got murderers on the brain. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens to you. <laughs> I love uh, you as far just... as a killer cancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking with Joseph Gordon Levitt, where I want to see cancer fucking running around in a goddamn hotel hallway yeah. where Joseph Gordon Levitt is running on the ceiling fighting this thing and he's got a shotgun he's <laughs> exactly with one hand exactly. but <laughs> but i mean it was it was it was him. a tolerable film. it was watching like a, a decent judd apatow film that i actually liked in a, in a while and, which is not a judd um, apatow I, film by and it's way. not yeah but i mean with seth rogan it does feel that way um but yeah it's 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 a matinee for me even though i'm on the verge i was about to give it a full price but when i walked away from it, i was like that that was a good fun story but it'd be hard to to kind of sell it to somebody Number one, it's about cancer, and, and number two, it has Seth Rogen in it. So, uh, you know, it's just a matinee. I still honestly. picture the co-host cancer film. You know, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger is chemotherapy. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> yeah. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> the, the, the cancer is killing him. It's not fast enough. You know, it's it's better than the cancer film that I'm picturing for you, which like is a cute, cuddly Smurf coming out like, Hi, I'm cancer. <laughs> Love me. Let's have fun. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> Miyazaki made it. He's all <laughs> Miyazaki. What, what form of cancer is that? <laughs> <laughs> really cute. <laughs>